is going on awesome peeps? Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews and today we are reviewing the Surface 604 Rook and we are particularly excited because for the first time in like forever it's actually cloudy, a little bit overcast and a nice temperature here in California. So we are very excited to be beating the heat and to dive into the specs. So here we go. The Surface 604 V Rook is the result of form meeting function. This electric bike combines the approachability that comes with a step through frame while retaining that classic Surface 604 ruggedness. You want to use the V-Rook to commute to work? Great, it can do that. Need to carry cargo? No problem. Oh, did, did you just spot a really cool trail on your way to the store? Sweet, take that trail, see where it leads. The V-Rook is prepared to take on the unexpected, but Let's talk about price. The Surface 604 V Rook comes in with a starting price of $2,599 USD. Add on the 20 amp hour battery upgrade for $300 and we're already looking at $2,899 USD. Of course, look, Surface 604 has quite a few other accessories worth a look like their leather pannier bags, which look super groovy and their seat post suspension. Surface 604 offers free shipping and a whopping three year frame warranty, plus a one year comprehensive warranty. Good stuff. And that's exactly what we've come to expect from Surface 604. Right, specs. Let's dive in. In the rear wheel, the Surface 604 V Rook has a buffeting 500 watt motor geared for performance. And with a 25 amp controller, you can really feel the boost and torque when punching it off the line and when hill climbing. But we're just getting warmed up. The V Rook also has a torque sensor, which distributes power oh so smoothly, like warmed butter on a slice of French bread. This achievement is possible because the v Rook's torque sensor takes 1000 torque samples per second. When it comes to determining how hard I'm pedaling, this thing knows me better than my TikTok algorithm. This level of precision translates into an incredible riding experience that feels like the v Rook empowers your every crank of the pedals. Jeez, what are we writing a memoir here? <laughs> okay, out of the box, the Surface 604 V Rook has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which can be reached using the thumb throttle or the pedal assist. In this configuration, the V Rook is a class 2 e bike, which means it's legal to ride in most areas. But let's be honest here, there's a bit of speed racer in all of us, and sometimes you just want to go faster. Thankfully, the V Rook has an unlocked top speed of 28 miles per hour. Now, with that high of a speed limit, we're going to want some solid brakes and well, of course, you guessed it, the V-Rook delivers. This e-bike is equipped with Tektro Auriga hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. There's mega stopping power here and the motor inhibitors ensure you're never fighting against the motor when braking. When it comes to range, the V-Rook has plenty. The stock 48 volt, 14 amp hour locking removable battery offers a max estimated range of 45 miles, while the upgraded 20 amp hour battery has a max estimated range of 65 miles. But look, of course, these estimates are for ideal conditions. The battery is located low in the main tube, keeping the weight distribution nice and balanced. And one of the cool things about Surface 604 batteries is that they can be used on any Surface 604 electric bike. They are fully cross compatible, my e-bike friends. Now I'm particular to step through frames because of how easy they are to, uh, well, to well step through and then mount the saddle. Of course, without that top bar, you do lose some of the structural integrity. Thankfully, Surface 604 added a gusset to reinforce and stiffen up the frame. You can also use that gusset as a handle if you want to pick up and move the V-Rook. The V-Rook's curb weight is relatively light too, at just 58 pounds. And yet this e-bike still retains an impressive payload capacity of 285 pounds. That's important if you plan on loading up that rear rack. There's also an included front rack for the V-Rook that attaches directly to the bosses on the head tube. And this is the mounting point that you want for a front rack because it helps to minimize the felt weight of whatever it is that you've got stowed. And it also helps to keep those things from falling out. So definitely a win. 
The V-Rook has a super low standover height of just 28.5 inches for the medium frame, which is suited for riders between 5 foot 2 and 5 foot 7, and 30 inches for the large frame, which is suited for riders between 5 foot 8 and 6 foot 6. And since there's no top tube to deal with, the V-Rook's seat post can be lowered super, super, super low. Again, this ride has great approachability. At the back of the Surface 604 V-Rook, we've got a Shimano Olivio 9-speed derailleur paired with trigger shifters. This is a great derailleur, and I love that Surface 604 just swung for the fences when it came to component choices. At the front of the V-Rook, we've got a Suntour XCM suspension fork with approximately 80 millimeters of travel. Between the suspension fork and the Surface 604 branded 27.5 by 2.4 inch puncture protection tires, this is a fairly smooth ride. But for those of you that want to live in absolute luxury, you may want to grab that optional Suntour NCX seat post suspension. Those things really are beautiful. Wire management on the V-Rook is top notch with everything bundled and organized nicely and of course they're internally routed as well. The Buscelli integrated headlight is surprisingly bright, and enough so in fact that you could adequately illuminate your path at night. Between the headlight, integrated taillight, and reflective sidewall strips on those tires, the V-Rook is a highly visible electric bike, and a highly visible electric bike is a safe electric bike. 10 points, Surface 604. The handlebars on the V-Rook are adjustable, so you can raise or lower them depending on whatever kind of riding posture you prefer. And in the middle of these big, beautiful, swept back handlebars, we've got a bright and shiny, full color LCD display that fights back against the cruel hot sun with a polarized screen. But look, beware, okay? If you ride with polarized sunglasses, the polarizations will interfere with each other and it'll make the screen appear to be completely black. On the left side of the handlebars, we've got the thumb throttle and the independent button pad. And on the right side of the handlebars, we've got the trigger shifters and a mechanical bell. Overall, the Surface 604 V-Rook is an absolute bargain buy at $2,599. The components here are top tier, guys. There's two different frame size and three different colors to choose from. There's tons of great upgrade and accessory options. And at the end of the day, the V-Rook can fill just about any role that you needed to. And with that, let's ride. All right, awesome peeps. That is it for the review of the Surface 604 V-Rook. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you're having a great day. Hopefully it's a little bit cool where you are as well. If you enjoyed this review, it would be awesome if you could take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to us and it would also help the channel quite a bit. So thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and until next time, peace.